Hello. In the first part of this videos, I've described how to make Laravel default user authentication system. I mean login, register, etc. Using user stable migrated from default migration. In the previous second part, I've described how to make admin authentication system using admins table. In this third part, I will install, configure and use the popular SPATIS package for client's permissions. Exactly, I want to have multiple admins with different roles of permissions. So, let's get started. As written here in the repo readme file, run this command. Composer requires SPATI Laravel permission. The service provider will automatically get registered or you may manually add the service provider in your config app.php file. Run migration publishing command. run config publishing command. This command is optional. In my case, I will do. This will generate config permission.php, which will looks like this after some changes. Now we will add the has roles trait to our app models admin.php model like this. In the public function render of app exceptions handler PHP, we will add this code block. Note, don't forget to import unauthorized exception class. In the app HTTP kernel.php, add role element to the route middleware protected array property. Make sure you have uncommented all lines actually authenticate sessions class, which could be commented by default. Add admin element to the middleware groups protected array property. It could be better if we had some admins with different permissions. Let's say we need to have three types of admins, administrator, moderator, manager, with different permissions, which will start in the same admins table. For that, we need to have an admin seeder for generating admins before working with it. Also, it will be better if we will create a user seeder too for registering a test user for us at the same time. This will be our admin seeder. And this is a user seeder. For registering these seeds, we should have our main database seeds, database seeder.php, like this. As you can see in seeds, we have something like config project dot something. It means we need to create a new config project dot php config file and store there some stuff. We have used env helper function to get environment variables from .env file. After this config and .env changes, we must refresh our app caches. Also, if you want to start build your app from scratch, then run following commands. I will do so. Now in this step let's see how and why we can use the power of our installed package. As we know we have three types of admins with different permissions. Let's assume that we want to have some pages in admin panel. 
which can see only specific admins. It means that some routes should not be available for specific admins. Our package gives us that possibility. We will create a users listing page in admin panel which will be available for administrator and moderator admins, but not for manager admins. For users listing page in admin panel, we need to create a new controller, usercontroller.php. After adding new routes in admin.php for admins with different roles, we will have this. After adding new page block in our admin template, we will have this in our site.blade.php. Let's list all users in users listing page. We already talked about manageable URI admin panel addresses. What that means? Let's assume we built multi-out app for our customer and it's like this as our app at current moment. But when customer knew about admin URL part of admin panel, he wanted to change that and have some text instead. What can we do? May we need to find all the usages of admin in whole app and replace them with some texts. I hope that you won't do that, cause this process may be repeated again and again, so you don't need to find all that usages and change them in every time. We will find all that matches and replace them with manageable or dynamic variable which can have appropriate segment path for current time. We need to initialize protected property redirect to of out logging controller.php class. As we can't init that on definition, we just need to do that in constructor. After initializing it will be like. Also in route service provider, we need to replace admin path prefix in map admin routes protected function. After changes, it will be like. We already have the value of config project.admin.prefix, which is will grab from .env admin prefix variable. It's admin by default. So we just can replace the value in .env like this. And after that, we must refresh our caches. After all these changes, we can just change or manage our admin panel main URI path from one place, so it's done. Not, don't forget to recreate or clear or refresh app caches after .env or config files changes. Note. This is a page logged in via administrator or via moderator admins. This page will not available for manager admins because it restricted from two places. One from routes, see admin.php. Two from blade, see site.blade.php.
In this video, we have integrated and used popular package for Laravel admin permissions roles. We also made a working example for that. Also, we have made admin prefix URI address manageable from .env. So we can consider that our main purpose are completed. Thanks. See you in the next videos.